Hello everyone, TrekWorks here, and Happy Thanksgiving! Well, before we eat our turkey dinner here later this afternoon, I've had a little time to start working on the 1350 Classic Enterprise Kit from Polar Lights, and I started out by building up the little shuttlecraft here, and I decided that I wanted to do a little lighting on that. Uh, at the end of the video here, I'll have a couple of pictures of how I put it together, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I've got it assembled now, and I put a little 3mm uh, LED inside there that I had to grind down a little bit and you can see it lights up the forward windows on this and I think that turned out pretty neat and what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be assembling the uh, uh, shuttle, uh, shuttle bay area and uh, trying to figure out what kind of lighting I'm going to do on that to get it lit up on the interior there so I'm going to come back and show you here in just a little bit how that's going we're going to start painting up the little parts first and getting some of the pre-assembly done and then we're going to look at how we're going to light that and get the shuttle mounted in there so here we go the classic enterprise from polar lights the one we've all been waiting for this is a really exciting build i'm really uh, excited about building this we'll be back in a little bit and show you some progress so here you can see in the uh, picture here we've got the primary pieces for the uh, shuttle bay area we have the floor area here we have the roof we have the two side walls and we have the rear bulkhead and um, the windows on this are really, really tiny. And so what I think I'm going to be doing is I think I'm going to use some reflective uh, silver tape to uh, lay into these window areas here, cut those out really small and lay those in. And then I'm going to light this uh, top panel here by using uh, the same uh, technique that I used on the shuttle there, just lighting it through the styrene. I'm going to uh, mount some of my um, warm white LED tape here at the top, and I'm going to paint some of these little details on here. And then uh, hopefully our light's going to shine through, and we're going to light up all those little that that light will reflect on those uh, on that reflective tape, and we'll get an effect that'll look uh, a lot like the individual windows are lit. And then we've got our colors picked out. The floor area is supposed to be a kind of a gray here, and the walls are kind of a beige color with gray highlights. And so I've uh, mixed up my colors now. I'm going to start spraying all these down, and I'll show you what that looks like. Be back with that in just a little bit. Okay guys, I spent about an hour uh, getting these things painted up and you can see what everything looks like now. I'm really happy with it. I think I got the color of the wall pretty close to what it shows on the box art there and all the little decals put on. Uh, I masked off these windows and you can see that um, uh, the parts of the plastic here that are really thick, that's where I've decided to go with the reflective tape there at that little box, that control box there you can see shining at you and the one here at the front. Uh, this area right here, but the little windows there in the picture are, are have been masked off so light will pass through them and the same thing with this rear bulkhead here the light will actually pass through those four windows and all these little lights here at the top uh, this kind of grid uh, on the ceiling and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assemble this thing and I'm going to uh, start working with uh, putting some strip lighting behind that to see how I can get it to light up now one thing I found out is looking at the uh, the rear part of the hull here it's really really a close fit so I'm not sure how much light I'm going to be able to get in there behind uh, some of these things that the, the hangar deck almost completely touches the ceiling up here and it's also very close along the side walls so I may have to do a little grinding on the inside of this to make some clearance uh, but we'll find out what we're going to have here in just a minute I'm going to start putting the uh, uh, shuttle bay together and then we'll see uh, how it fits in there and we'll do a little bit of test lighting on that I'll be back with that in just a bit Okay, everybody, I'm back after a few minutes. Uh, I spent some time putting the, uh, actually assembling the shuttle bay now, and I've got it mocked up here, and I've got some uh, lighting that I've done on it, and I'll explain to you a little bit about what I did and some of the things that worked and some of the things that didn't. Now, uh, getting back to this assembly, uh, the walls of this uh, actually almost butt right up against the wall on the inner uh, side of the outer hull, so you have no clearances on the side over here at all to put any kind of lighting or strip lighting in here. Uh, so the little side windows that you see, that little row of windows that's on each side, they, uh, they're they going to be difficult to get any kind of lighting in behind that. Uh, and actually some of the outer windows on your ship itself are going to be blocked by this assembly. So uh, lighting those windows on the outside is going to be difficult too. Now the little ion pod that's uh, that we saw in the Enterprise that flashes on each side towards the stern, that little hole is just below the uh, floor of the uh, shuttle bay here, and they leave you just enough room to put a 3mm bulb on there on each side. So... It's going to be tight, but that'll fit. Um, and up here at the top, there's these little trenches that are cut in this uh, ceiling panel. 
and I was able to use some of the uh, LED tape, the Modeler's brand, and I was really fortunate that the, uh, the little square bulbs that are on that laid right down inside that trench perfect. I mean, no, no clearance to spare at all, but they laid down in there, so that allowed me to mount this tape uh, perfectly flush on the top of the uh, shuttle bay for the ceiling lights, and uh, because you have no clearances at the top either. In fact, there's these little uh, uh, three little lights that go up on the top side of the hull, the red and the green and the red that we've all seen. Uh, that's going to be hard to light too because there's just no way to get anything in there. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding to maybe f uh, squeeze a, a little three millimeter bulb in there. And rather than using separate colored bulbs, I'll probably just use some uh, transparent red and green to tint those little clear plastic parts and give them the illusion that they're lit in different colors uh, to get away with that. Let me go ahead and plug this in for you so you can see the lighting effect on it. And um, you can see here that we have a, a pretty nice natural looking light effect. I'm pretty happy with that the way it looks, and I'm going to pan the camera down here for you and tilt it up so you can see the uh, uh, ceiling panels there. And you can see we've got kind of a row of lights on each side there uh, coming through. And that's really giving us a nice ambient look in there. And um, let me go back up here. Um, so that's worked out pretty good. I mean, it's given a nice light overall. You can see the details of the shuttle and that reflective tape that's in there is given a, a look that uh, kind of an appearance that those lights are uh, lit in those little control boxes, so I'm glad that worked out. I was actually looking at the real photos of the uh, uh, the little uh, miniature set that they made for the shuttlecraft area, and it look, that looks exactly what, like what they did. Uh, the little rooms don't appear to be lit. They, there's some reflective tape that's on there, and when they light it from the back and shine light down into it, it looks like those reflect the light and they give the appearance of being lit, so I think that'll pass. I've also got this little separate feature that I showed you earlier where I can uh, activate my shuttle bay lights, uh, the windows there at the front, and I'll have a separate switch for that. And I wanted those to be a little bit brighter light uh, and a little different looking light than the rest of it. I used warm white lighting in here and I used a standard white LED bulb there at the uh, shuttle. And uh, uh, the shuttle, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how um, I did that. That little body was hollow and I grinded down a three millimeter uh, white LED bulb and slid it in there and then uh, light blocked the whole outer side of the shuttle with some flat black paint and uh, masked off the little area where the windows are at the front and then painted it all with the white and the gray and pulled my tape and then just dusted over that little area there where the windows are with some more white and then applied the decals over top of it. So when the lights are off it looks like a normal uh, the little shuttle with all the detail on it. When you turn the uh, switch on there you get the light coming through right where the windows are so it gives a pretty nice effect. But uh, So that's about it. Uh, so now we're going to be moving on to the uh, <clears throat> the major part of the assembly of the hull. I've been looking the hull over and everything. It's pretty pretty straightforward. There isn't a lot of modification to do to it as far as to put the lights in it. It's already made for that. And I'm going to be using mostly uh, LED tape all, all throughout through my lighting. I'm building the second pilot version of this ship, so I don't need to worry about lighting the nacelles. But everything else is going to be lit. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do the bridge or not. I might just uh, white out that dome piece and put that in there. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'll keep giving you updates as I go along. This is the uh, very first part here. I've got the shuttle bay kind of out of the way now. I may figure out a couple more little things along the line about maybe squeezing some little, maybe figure out a way to get some lighting on the sides here, but uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it looks overall, just the way it is. So anyway, until I come back next time, everybody, enjoy your Thanksgiving and happy modeling, everyone. I'll see you next time. Take care.